是我们这次国际专场的第二场。啊，我请来呢英国的妇女组织的发展咨询部主任 Lisa McMullen 女士来帮我们分享一下科技成果转化。其实科技成果转向这转化这个题目呢，是在我们中国的过去四十年科技体制改革中一直就没有断的一个话题。然后尤其是近两年呢，我们提的越来越多，但是我们现在的科技成果转化的转化率呢很低，好像是不足百分之十，有的数字呢说是不足百分之六。呃，大概是在二零一二年的时候，我带了教中国教育部一个代表团，呃，访问英国一些高校，我记得还有华为大学，然后呃，女王大学，还有奥斯特大学。当时呢，就是访问了他们的科技成果转化中心办公室，每一个大学都有这样一个中心。呃，我们当时呢，就给教育部呢提了一些建议，就是中国大学呢也应该有这样的一些啊、呃、部门的运作。那直到今年，整整到距离今天呢是两个星期之前，就是在二零一二年的五月十三号，科技部呢和教育部就联合印发了这样一个意见。这个意见呢就是进一步推进高等学校专业化技术转移机构机构发展建建设发展的实施意见。所以我觉得这是一个特别好的时机。啊、呃，我跟 Lisa 呢认识很多年，啊、呃，最近就是最开始听他讲科技成果转化的时候，是在二零一七年的十一月份。那时候呢，我们两个人在南京一起做中国大学教师的，呃，就师资培训项目。他向我，他偶然的提出来，他说，呃，我在英国还做另外一个项目，就是给大学老师，尤其是年轻的这个博士生做科技成果转化的培训。当时我印象特别深刻，从那以后呢，我就老追着他问，到底那个培训是怎么样的，是什么样的一个内容。呃，他给我分享了很多。那我想呢，今天借咱们这次国际会议的机会吧，我把这个啊、呃、Lisa 请过来，让她全面的给我们阐述一下她在科技成果转化里面她做的那些工作，包括英国大学里面他们有哪些个机构、哪些个机制是促成了科技成果转化，好吗？那今天的这种形式呢，就是我和 Lisa 一起，然后 Lisa 呢，她有一个。这样的一个 PPT， 他过一下 PPT， 他过每一页的话呢，我就会给大家做翻译，好吧？呃、uh, ，OK， Lisa， I'm ready. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Thank you. Let, let, let's start. Yeah, thank you. OK, well, first of all, let me thank you for this opportunity to share、um, some of the experiences of our work here in the UK, supporting in particular、um, colleagues within universities and working in education to commercialize their research. 啊、uh, ，首先呢，我要非常感谢大家邀请我呢做这次分享，有机会把我们在英国做的一些工作，尤其是我们如何支持大学的科技成果人转化这个工作，以及他们这些科技成果的人员，啊，科技科技人员做科技成果这个事情呢，跟大家进行一个分享。Okay, I am an enterprise educator, which involves supporting colleagues within universities and colleges. To become more entrepreneurial, but I am also a director for a social enterprise、um, in the north of England, and I'm their director、um, for development and consultancy. 嗯、uh, ，我呢，首先是一个双创教育工作者。我呢是来帮助英国国内英国国内的大学教师做科技成果转化的。同时呢，我还服务于英国一个社会组织。这个社会组织呢叫 Women's Organization， 叫女性组织。它呢是在英格兰英格兰的西北部，在嗯、um, 利物浦这个地方。我是这个机构的发展咨询部主任。Thank you. And. I think it's useful to share with you just a bit about the work of the women's organisation and what we do and how it's relevant to this area of work. 嗯，现在呢，我先来介绍一下这女性组织是干什么的这个机构啊，看看这个机构做的工作呢，跟我们今天的会议主题是不是很贴切。These are our five areas of、um, activity within our business model. 嗯，我们的工作呢，主要包括这五块五个领域的内容。So over the past twenty-five years, we have built experience and expertise in these areas, particularly in entrepreneurship services and economic development. So this first、um, slice of our、um, of our pie of the work. 啊、uh, ，就是我们这个机构呢，已经成立二十五年了。这是我们五块的工作领域。呃、uh, ，我们大部分的工作呢是在第一块，它管它叫一个馅饼。这馅饼的右上角就是这个经济发展和创业服务这方面，是我们的主要核心内容。
Okay, in that area of work, and over the 20 plus years that we've worked, we've supported 65,000 women to set up and grow their own businesses. And we've learned a lot from them on how to do that in this time. 嗯，我们这个机构呢，因为它叫女性组织，我们这个主要呢是来资助，就辅助啊女性创业的。所以在过去的这二十多年中，我们辅助大概三千多名女性创业。Okay, as well as providing those services, the training and support and advice, we have a physical um incubator with a space for small businesses to to work and to grow. 嗯，呃，除了我们给他们提供一些培训啊、咨询服务以外，我们的确还有一个实体，这个实体呢就是一个孵化器，然后在孵化器里面呢来帮助这些女性组织成立他们的机构，以及帮助他们进行成，帮助他们成长。Okay, we have significant experience of managing programs to deliver enterprise and economic support, working with and collaborating with partners across the UK and across Europe. 嗯，另外呢，就是我们在项目管理方面经验也非常丰富。那我们的合作伙伴呢，遍布英国和欧洲，呃，是在给这些呃中小企业就就发展和经济发展提供服务。Okay, and as part of our business model, we use all of that experience and expertise to provide consultancy services, and that's through our enterprise evolution um brand. 对，因为有前面这个三块这个工作啊，我们积累了很多丰富的经验，所以我们把这些经验呢转化为我们为其他机构的提提供的咨询服务。所以在我们这女性妇女就妇女组织这个下面呢，成立了一个呃咨询公司，这个咨询公司的名字就叫创展英国。Okay, and it's this area that I will share a little bit more information with you about now. 嗯，所以我现在在做的这个科技成果转化的内容呢，主要是在刚才这个咨询业务这板块下面。Okay, and then it's all of this practical experience that we use in the fifth area to research, carry out research, but also to influence the environment and the ecosystem that we're working in. 嗯，那前面这整个这四块的服务呢，也是我们的研究的一些主要内容，然后利用我们的研究呢，在这个领域产生一些影响。Okay, so. We have, I've been asked this, um, to tell you some more about the work support that I have done, um, particular work supporting university colleagues to commercialize their research. And these are just some examples of the work that I've done. And,嗯，因为今天，对，今，sorry，今天这个主题呢，实际上是我给他出的一个命题作文，然后我就让他讲一讲这个机构，他们这个机构给这英国的大学做这个创新孵化方面做过哪些活动，所以这六块内容呢
。然后另外呢，就是我们因为做这 IQ 二这项目做得很好，我们分享了经验嘛。那其他领域呢，就纷纷的效仿。比如说这第二个这 Aspect， 它呢就是一个也是一个网络集团，这个集团里面包括几个大学，他们的重点呢就是在这个社会科学方面如何做科技成果转化，这是他们的工作重点。Okay. As、uh, so, whereas iCure started off as a geographical-led aspect program, is very much around sector-led. This third area, this B, is institutional-led. This is the logo for、um, Manchester Business University's business school、um, at the Masood Enterprise Centre, and they have specific research commercialisation programs for their own. Staff and colleagues. 嗯，你看刚才我们前面讲的三个，第一个的 IQ 的项目呢，主要是刚开始是一个地区性的项目，对吧？后来要延展到英国去。然后第二个这 aspect 呢，它是一个行业性质，它都是属于社会科学这个领域的。然后第三个像这个蜜蜂状的这个呢，这是就是大学内部自己的一个科研成果转化项目。这是曼彻斯特大学，他们有一个商学院，下面有一个马苏德呃，就科技成果转化中心。Okay, on an international level, we have worked with the European Commission,、um, and that also informs the development of our work. Ah,、uh, 然后下面左下角这个欧盟这个标志呢，是因为它跟欧盟呢在一个就是国际性的合作方面也有一些合作。然后这个欧盟的一些工作也影响了他们在英国的科技成果转化项目。Okay, I also thought it was interesting to highlight some national. Agencies or national organisations that are promoting this approach to enterprise development. Enterprise Educators is a national UK organisation of more than 120 institutions that provide enterprise development services for their students and their staff. 呃、uh, ，我想呢，有必要呢，我要要谈一谈。其实，在英国还有两个国家级的机构，他们也是在创新创业领域方面呢，起着积极发挥了积极的作用啊。就是中间下第二行这个中间这个这个机构呢，它就是英国呃创新创业者学会。这个学会它是一个呃就是个学会嘛，联盟性质的。它里面的会员呢，包括一百二十个英国的大学。然后这个机构呢，为这些大学的创新创业教育呢，提供服务和支持。Okay. And the final example I wanted to highlight was some work that we did、um, with the Royal Society, which is very much focused on supporting the development of science and innovation、um, to be applied across the UK. 嗯，另外最后一个右下角最后这个呢是英国的皇家学会，我们也跟皇家学会一起合作呢，来宣传来推广这个科技成果转化。Okay, I wanted to share these as examples to reflect the diversity and the richness of the work that is going on in the UK、um, in this particular area. 对，所以我为什么要把这六个机构全六个机构或者项目全摆出来呢？就想大家看看，就是在英国做科技成果转化有一个有一个多元化的特点。Okay, so if I think and go back to iCure as the program that started back in 2014, it was actually in response to some government research, and that government research was very much about how to bridge the valley of death. 嗯，就是我现在先咱们先讲第一个项目叫 IQ 这个项目，这项目呢是要在二零一四年启动的。启动这个项目的原因是因为政府就是议会啊出了一个报告，这个报告呢就是说你的科学成果在实验室里面的科学成果到社会上应用之间有一条有一条鸿沟，这条鸿沟呢我们管它叫死亡之谷。如何跨越死亡之谷？然后我们呢就创建了这个项目。Okay, so the Valley of Death, dramatic as it sounds. Is the term that is used to help us understand why there are so many ideas, so much positive research, quality research happening within academia, and why is it not making its way to be applied in industry? 为什么叫死亡之谷呢？就是左边这个一个人脑袋上顶一灯泡，这个就是相当于他的大学里面的科技人员，他们有这么多的好的点子、好的想法、科学发现，但是呢，很少有些科学发现能够跨过这条沟到右面这小房子、这个议会的房子那儿，就表示社会没有把这个科研成果呢给社会
应加以应用，所以这之间呢有一大沟，就我们管这道沟叫死亡之谷。So the I Care program was born to try and avoid and minimize or reduce these ideas that were falling into this valley, and actually, what can be done to build a bridge that could actually take those ideas, those innovation, and apply them to the needs of industry. 嗯，所以为了解决这个死亡之谷这个难题呢，我们就创办了这个 i q 这个项目，目的呢就是让尽量多的项目能够跨越这个鸿沟，能够从实验室走出去，应用到社会。Okay, so the research told us that there were a number of key barriers, and so the program was designed to try and address these. 我们也做了一定的这个研究啊，这科研的结果呢，就告诉我们是说，其实做这个项目呢，我们有很多的困难和障碍。Okay, so the research finds or the investigation finds that colleagues and researchers working within academia had lack of commercial awareness, and they had limited entrepreneurial capability. They weren't sure of what was needed or what indeed the options were for them. 嗯、uh, ，这个科研发现里面呢，包括这些障碍。首先呢，就是科我们发现这科研人员呢没有这个商业意识。另外呢，他们的创新能力也非常有限，他们也不知道自己的这个成果到底是社会上是不是有需要，而且他们也不知道自己的这个如何去满足这些需求。Okay, it was also found that our research and academic colleagues, whilst they had extensive networks within their own research and academic. Environments, they were very strictly bounded. They stayed and remained within those areas, and so they didn't have great connections with commercial or industrial partners. 嗯，另外我们也发现了，虽然有些学者他的圈子非常开放，有很大的圈子，但是他圈子里面的人员呢，都是属于他们自己这个领域的圈子，就是都是学界的。他跟这些社会啊，跟这些企业界的联系非常的少。等于他圈子大，但是他他人他比较纯，都是跟这学界相关的人员。Okay, it was also found that there were some cultural issues, and those for at an individual level of why would an individual be interested or motivated to think about、um, developing or taking their ideas outside of the university, and what would that drivers for that be? 嗯，还有呢，就是关于文化相关的，人们这个科研人员自己在想，他说我干嘛要去做这个科技成果转化呢？然后我找那麻烦干嘛呢 ？Okay, within some institutions, and indeed,、um, very reasonably, this is the case. Universities and places of learning are there for learning and knowledge development. So to actually take that knowledge development outside and apply it is also something that can be quite challenging. For our academic colleagues. 嗯，另外呢，就是我们也意识到，大学本身这个作为一个组织，组织文化对这个科技成果转化呢，也有一些个障碍。然后，另外呢，就是大学里面这些人，他想做科技成果转化的时候，他又不知道怎么去做。Okay, and the final point here is access to finance. I think, like any other business startup or new venture development. There are limits to the money and the resources available to be able to support that. And back certainly in 2014, those opportunities were limited. The systems weren't in place to be able to support that. 嗯，那现在这社会上呢，有一些风投机构啊，他们可以来资助这些初创企业。但是当时这项目启动的时候，二零一四年的时候，这个环境还不像现在这么好，基本上资金不充裕，能够缺少资金来支持他们这项计划。Lisa, I would say that actually, exactly, we are sharing the same, exactly the same barriers and the challenges. Okay,、mm. it's reassuring to know that we have the same problems and the same issues. But what we have done is then design a program, and design a number of initiatives to try and overcome this. 嗯，我刚才跟他说，就这些个障碍，其实我们中国大学也都面对，也都有哈。他也在说，他说是，他说因为我们面临的同样的一些困难。那我看一看英国的这些啊、呃，现在目前这么多的项目，能不能给我们呢提供一条经验之路吧 ？Okay, so addressing those barriers, we um set out to design a program and deliver a program which 
will increase and improve the successful commercialization. So we increase in terms of the level of activity as well as the impact. 嗯，所以他们就在想呢，为了呃来迎接那样的挑战，就设计这样一个项目，目的呢就是来提高学术研究的商业化成果的成功率。然后这成功率里面呢，包括一些为这个科研人员提供技能方面的培训。Okay, so that's from an institutional point of view, in terms of a university to help it to encourage that, but also the program is designed to support the individual early career researcher. 嗯，所以我们主要在做的呢，就是给大就从大学的这个角度帮他们解决整个一个大学你如何做这个可以成果转化。但是重点，你作为大学，你的出这个出发点切入点是哪呢？他们就把切切入点落在了年轻的科研工作者身上。Okay, and the idea when um I Q first started and this was being designed um as a result of the research, there were long term ambitions and that was. To actually use this program to run it as a pilot, so that it could inform the future national program we have now. 嗯，刚才讲过，就是我们设计这个项目呢，是基于我们很做过很多研究的基础之上啊。呃，前面的都是研究的成果，但是呢，我们其实野心，我们野心勃勃的，就是想用这样一个第一个这样的项目呢，为了往后将来其他国就是国家呀做其他项目的活活动的时候，提供一些信息和经验。Okay. So, what have we got now? We have a program that is open to university teams from across the UK. I think it's useful to say teams because we're talking here as an early career researcher, a senior academic, a tech transfer colleague, and a business advisor. 嗯，大家看他们作为第一点做的是什么呢？就是这个项目啊，是英国向英国的所有的大学科研团队开放。这个重点的词就是向团队开放。团队里面呢，一般是有四个组成人员，包括呢是一个呃年轻的博士生，就科年轻的科研人员，然后还有一个是比较资深的科研人员，就像嗯导师吧。然后第三个呢就是大学的科技成果转化办公室的人员，然后另外第四个呢就是有这个科技成果转化经验的，叫做呃叫做商业经理或者商业咨询顾问这样的一个角色的人。所以一共是四个人参加，这是一个团队。Okay, and the program is designed and structured so that researchers away from the lab, away from their day-to-day -day workplace, they um, are funded. Uh, the early career researchers post is for up to three months to be able to go and talk to partners and colleagues outside of the university environment. 嗯，这项目怎么做的呢？刚才说是政府提供资金的啊，他项目做一共是呃培训的时间呢是一个一个团队是三个月，然后这团队之间的主要的这个培训人员呢，受训人员是他们这个年轻的科研人员，然后就是在三个月之中呢，让他不断的要走出他的实验室，到这个市场中去，把他的主意呢在市场中进行验证。那市场里面的人呢，就包括他们的商业合作伙伴，也可能呢是包括他们的一些竞争对象。然后这三个月之间呢，要就是整个主要的活动就是这年轻的科研人员去市场上做项目的验证。Okay, in that time, the early career researcher was encouraged and supported to have conversations with industry colleagues, so that they could understand how their research would best be applied for a positive impact or to create value for people within industry. 嗯，所以我们这个项目，我所做的事情呢，就是来帮助这个年轻的科研人员，你如何找到你的对对对话的一个对象，你如何向这个对话的人跟他进行一个对话，然后呢，来看就是他目前手里面拿的这个科研成果，就是他跟他导师做的这个科研成果，如何呢，能够为这些企业和市场上所应用，然后当然是为好的方面、正面方面的应用。Okay, the program is structured and right up until. We are living in this current COVID-19 situation. There was funding of thirty-five thousand pounds for each team, and that was to cover the staff costs of the early career researcher and also for travel. There was an expectation that colleagues would travel internationally. Obviously, at the moment, things are different. You know, we don't have the opportunity to travel, but the programs are running. And we are continuing to provide provide iCure programs 
working virtually. So the budget is being used in a different way now. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, he said that is, every clinical team, the government, this agency, ah, will pay out three point five million dollars, which is equivalent to three hundred thousand dollars. 然后在这三个月之内呢，在疫情爆发之前，这个博士生呢要这个三三十三这三十万人民币怎么花呢？就是发两部分内容，一部分呢是这个年轻的科研团队的这个人员的工资，他的工资，然后另外一部分就是他的呃旅行的费用、差旅费。那现在呢，因为他不是要采访一百多个对象嘛，他现在呢因为疫情爆发了，他们就不太不再不太可能再去差旅就没有了，都是在网上都在去做，所以这这笔钱的这个用途呢就发。Okay, this is certainly from our perspective in the UK. This is a very well resourced program. Um, research tells us, or evaluation tells us, it offers value for money. But some of the other programs that I highlighted are not run over three months, do not have this level of money, but they still are demonstrating significant impact. 嗯，我现在讲这个就是三万五千英镑这个项目，就是针对这个 i q u r y 项目，它英国英国政府投资的项目，它的资金呢还算比较富裕啊，所以我们呢就是根据我们后来做的调查的结果显示呢，呃，这钱花的还是值得的。但是前面我不是展示了很多其他的项目吗？那些项目的资金就没有这么这么雄厚，但是他们也在自己的各方各面嘛，也做出了一些啊、呃，产生了积极的效果。Okay, and as part of that program, there is training and team support throughout. 嗯，在这三个月之内呢，我们整个这个这三个月之内都会给他们呢提供呃培训和团队支持。Okay, we start with a boot camp, and that's one of the areas that I have been very involved in designing and delivering um a a creative approach to our enterprise education education. 呃，做这个培训呢，最开始的一个活动，我们就做这个集中训练，有点咱们像咱们的训练营。然后训练营的项目呢，是我呃积极就深入参与的，帮助设，包括设计，包括交付。Okay, so through those boot camps and the training and support, we seek to develop creativity, innovation, and develop a m p r e n e u r i a l mindset, an entrepreneurial approach amongst all members of the team. 啊、uh, ，所以这训练营呢是由他们这个四个，就是一个团队不是有四个人吗？这四个人都参与，所以在他们在去出发之前，跟这个呃潜在的对象进行对话的时候，他们要参加训练营，然后通过训练营呢，我们培养了他们的这个呃更加有创意、有创新，然后培养了新的思维方式。Okay, the focus of this early stage approach is on customer discovery and customer. Validation in order to critically evaluate the ideas, and this is all pre-business planning stage. So it helps、um, the researchers to be clear about what and how their research can be best applied before they enter into a business startup scenario. 嗯，就是他们这个训练营主要做什么内容呢？主要就是两项内容，一项呢就是在做客寻找客户、开发客户，然后第二个呢就是在做这个，呃，就是一个是在开发，第二是在客户验证。所以这两步呢都是在做商业计划书以及在成跟成立公司之前要做的工作。然后他们找到了潜在的客户以后，就要分析目前手里这个科技成果呢如何被这些客户所应用。所以实际上在实际上呢，没有哪一个技术是直接崩、直接摆过来它就能用到的。所以很多技术都需要进行调整。那这就是他们训练营里面的主要内容。Okay, and as part of the process, early career researchers are challenged to go and talk to a hundred people.、Um, they may be cus potential customers, competitors, people working in the market, supply chain,、um, regulators, so that they can really develop a thorough understanding of the environment in which they could be working in. 啊、uh, ，所以他们在这个训练营都培都培训接受培训完以后呢，就选一个代表，这代表就是年轻的这个博士生，然后由他呢去到市场上去找这三个月之内找一百多位人要进行对话，一百多位人呢就包括他的潜在客户，包括竞争者和合作伙伴，以及他这个呃商业供供应链链条上的人，以及包括制定法律法规的人。Okay, and what we have found is that those conversations. Do have an impact on the early career researcher, on their senior researcher, 
um, within the university and it has changed their attitudes and their expectations of what they can do with their research. 所以后来我们就调查就发现呢，就他这个一百多位采访嘛，对这个科研年轻的科研人员以及他的导师，还有他的大学都产生了一些影响，主要是他们有两方面，一方面是他的态度，另外一方面呢是他们如何看待自己的
As I mentioned before, there are sector specific initiatives now, which is the Aspect Network. And then we've got the individual institutions such as Manchester, such as Newcastle University um, at, and Exeter University. There are many more who are doing their own programs as well. 嗯，然后另外我前面也讲过了，就除了这个Accuracy项目以外呢，还有一个跟那个社会科学相关的一个项目，叫Aspect这项目，他们在做这个。然后另外还有一些那个独立的这些大学，就自己大学自己内部在做
the investment and the, re, um, the research that has been undertaken and how to build on that so that it's not lost um, mm. and how, how that can be embraced and applied in different scenarios. 包括皇家学会做的，包括皇家学会啊，包括政府，包括大学，他们都培发了那么多的钱来培养这个博士生，所以利利用这样的一个项目呢，也给博士生找到了另外一条这个职业职业路径吧。他不想呢，把这个科研
or entrecomp. And this mm. is a piece of... Sorry, 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 continue, continue. That's okay. I was just going to say this piece of research was carried out by the European Commission and was first published in 2016. 嗯，他刚才讲的这个定义呢，就是这个框架，这小花这个是欧盟的创新能力框架，最早的是在二零一六年的时候，第一版框架做出来了。Okay, I find that it's a very useful framework that splits down and articulates very clearly what it means to be entrepreneurial. It helps individuals to recognize their strengths and experience, but also to recognize where they may need to develop or to work with others to, Im to improve the chances of their success. Tajinajonglingkwanya Okay, there are three key areas of competence in this framework. Ideas and opportunities to start with, and this is where I think our researchers excel. They have ideas. They may not always see the opportunities because they don't necessarily connect it to them yet, but they have real strength in this area. 首先这个三块里面的第一块就是那个灰颜色的左上角灰颜色这里面呢就有两个词一个是创意和机会那我们做这个科研成果转化的项目呢我们所有的科研人员最起码还都都有创意它不一定能看见机会但它创意是在这方
呃，关于这个花瓣这部分，这创新能力框架呢，有很多的出版物哈。您如果感兴趣的话呢，可以都到网上去搜一搜。那我只是举其中一个例子，比如说这个，呃，创意和机会这一部分里面，其中就有一项是愿景。那对于我们的科研人员来讲，他就要想一想他自己的愿景是什么，他将能够如何把自己的这个科研成果将来。就是对对社会做一些做做出一些贡献吧。他未来的这种大的这个愿景是什么？想法是什么 ？Okay, an example of how I have used this when I've been working with colleagues is before we start talking about commercializing research, before we start thinking about entrepreneurship or innovation, we start thinking about ourselves. And I have these tools, which are cards, which break down and describe. Um, each one of those areas of competence, and I invite colleagues to to look at these and to select the ones that they feel that they have particular strengths in. And there are always strengths, and individuals can come away from that exercise and think, having come into a, a workshop or into a room, thinking that they're not very entrepreneurial, but having identified. Several of these that they feel very confident in, and recognizing that what they understand as being entrepreneurial and what they need to be able to commercialize their research, actually they're in a very strong starting point to do that. 嗯，我在做我的这个训练营的时候啊，我一上来呢，先不让他讲他这个科技成果怎么转化，他的技术到底是什么，这都往后先放一放。我一下上,上给他们做什么呢？就是这个十五个花瓣啊，我呢做成了十五张卡片，然后他拿他手里拿的那卡片，其实我家里也有，在我这桌底下箱子里面，他拿这卡片呢，让这些科研人员看，就是你根据这十五项的内容，你自己给自己评估一下，哪些项呢你现在做的很好了是优势啊，哪些项呢你从来都没有考虑过，或者你是你的。弱项，这样他们一目了然就知道，如果自己做创新啊，或者说做创业的话，自己在哪方面就应该是，呃，有进一步提升的空间了。Okay, so this is one framework that we find very useful、um, on lots of different levels to help us build a common understanding of what we're trying to achieve and to introduce a language and a way of talking、um, that comfortably describes entrepreneurship for academics. 对，拿完这个卡片看完了以后呢，我们再跟他们再填什么谈创新呐、啊、创业，就他们就会觉得很放松了，就知道我们谈的内容是围绕这些个花瓣儿这样的内容来展开的。Okay, and then we use、um, other common tools that are well tools that are commonly used in business and in industry. So as an example, there is the business model canvas. 啊，然后呢，我们就会用一些商业课上经常用的那些工具，比如说这个，这就是商业模式画布，也在我们的训练营里会应用。Okay, so this is a framework to think about、um, and have a discussion about、uh, how research may be developed and applied, what value it creates, and what it brings to different sets of customers. What it Helpfully does I find it is that in nine clear it provides nine clear blocks for people to think about how they might develop their project and also to frame the learning that they get from talking to、um, others outside of academia about how things actually work in practice. 嗯，所以他们用这画布做什么呢？就是他组织这些科研人员一起去思考，然后去想一想自己的这个某某一项这科研成果如何给不同的客户带来价值呢？然后，因为他呢，这些年轻的科研人员要出去去找这一百多位这个访谈对象要进行访谈，他就会根据这上面这些内容，把他的这个呃来来规划他访去访谈谁，去验证什么内容。所以这个是一个很清晰的引导工具。Okay. These are tools. This is a tool that is commonly used by、um, by organisations, by businesses to plan and develop what they do. They use this language. They follow this thinking. So, by adopting this or getting familiar with these frameworks, the academic researchers can talk to their industry colleagues、uh, easily and in a way that they can be sure that they're talking about the same things.
嗯，其实这个模商业模式画布呢，它是很常用的一个工具啊。这些年轻的科研人员，他把每一项呢都已经呃了解的很清楚了，然后就会根据上面这些内容呢来规划他如何去跟这一百多位商业界的这些人进行对话。因为商业界的人也在使这商业模式画布，他们就使用了共同的语系，理解起来呢就达成共识就比较容易了。Okay, the the business model canvas is um was developed um. By Pinier and um, Osterwalder, and their work is all on this website, on the strategizer.com website, where there are lots of resources that you can tap into on an ongoing basis. They're updated to be able to develop your thinking around this area. 嗯，然后大家都知道这个商业模式画布哈、啊、是由谁来发明的？他们有一个网站，就是上面这个网站，这个、网站上的好多有好多工具，工具呢也是在不断的去更新的。大家感兴趣的话，可以在网站上去找一找。But there's also an alternative that I have found that the colleagues from universities that I work with prefer this description. It's the same model, but they like the language of how it's described here. And this is being produced by Nesta, which is an innovation foundation or an innovation agency here in the UK. So within their publication, this DIY toolkit, um, they also describe the business model canvas. And this link um, can take you to uh, a Mandarin translation of that. 啊，另外，另外，英国还有一个机构，一个创新研究机构叫 Nesta。Nesta 呢也有很多它的一些工具啊，其中这个工具叫 DIY 这个工具呢，它是已经把它翻译成中文了。大家如果感兴趣的话呢，可以到网站上直接去下载。Okay, so there you can see the example of what you can access through that resource. It's the same nine blocks, but it talks and asks questions that prompt. And to think about who your customer segments are, who will benefit from your work. So I just wanted to share that as I think it's a useful resource. 嗯，你看这个呢，就是那个 Nesta 那 DIY 的书里面写的，它也是那九个模块，跟刚才那个商业模式画布是一样的。但它除了九个模块以外呢，它还有一些提示性的问题，就告诉你提问的时候你要考虑到这些这些的内容。所以这个两个工具呢，我觉得都很好，大家都可以去尝试用一下。Okay. Another couple of examples of research-based and informed work that we do to ensure that our programs stay on track and do what we want them to achieve um, are a couple of books here, publications that are based on the work from colleagues at Babson Entrepreneurship College and the University of Virginia. 啊、uh, ，然后另外我刚才讲过，就是我们做的这些科研项目呢，它都是在基于研究的基础之上的。那其中呢，包括这两本书啊，左边这个书呢，就是美国百森商学院写的《如何教创业》，那在我们中国呢，中文里面是南开大学已经翻译成中文了。嗯。Okay, so these are well-respected and well-regarded entrepreneurship thinkers, and we draw from their research and findings to be able to um inform our program design and delivery. 所以我们在这个设计我们自己项目的时候呢，我们也用这个百森商学院它里面书里面的一些理论和内容。An example is this: we encourage our early career researchers to play games, to make puzzles, and to design quilts. 嗯，比如说这个活动啊，这个游戏就是如何教创业那本书里面写的，如何用呃布条拼被子或者是拼拼图。Okay, which is very much an exercise or an activity to highlight and explore the concept of effectuation, which is the work of Sarah Sarasvati, and which those two pieces of research that I just referred to、um, combine to come up with this activity. 啊、uh, ，还有一个教授呢，他写的那个博士论文叫，他这个博士呢叫萨拉斯，叫 Sarah Sarah Swafi， 他写的这个论文呢叫效果推理理论。这个特微推理理论里面，其中一个也就是跟这个拼图跟拼被子相关的一个原则之一，叫拼被子原则。Okay, so we actually do these things, and then we ask or invite our colleagues to reflect on it. So if we think about the jigsaw puzzle, we invite colleagues to work in teams. And to build a jigsaw with a fixed number of pieces in order to make a fixed puzzle which has a design and a very clear 
output. 所以我们在做训练营培训的时候，我们这些科研人员也跟我们一起做这个活动。比如说，像右边这个拼图，我们又用很多很多片儿的拼图，让他们拼起来。拼完了以后都很完整啊，因为你拼之前就知道这拼图拼完了以后会什么样子了。The majority of our research is like that activity. 嗯，所以我们大部分的参就是参训人员还是比较喜欢这个活动。Okay, but then we also ask them to work with whoever they want within a group. To choose bits of fabric that we will provide, and to work together to come up with a design for a quilt. 然后呢，我让他们这些科研人员自己自己组队，愿意跟谁一块合作都行，用我们提供的这些布布布条或者布片呢来拼被子。Okay, and we are asking people then to reflect on these different experiences, how they can draw on the resources available to them, how they work with the different. Um, colleagues who bring different perspectives, and to identify and recognize that these are different ways of working, and they can both be very effective in different places. 嗯，然后呢，我们做完这活动以后，我们就会组织这些科研人员进行反思。就是你在拼图的时候，你在想你利如何利用你的资源，对吧？你把你的图拼好。然后另外呢，这个拼被子呢，就是不同的人有不同的资源，然后你们如何组织在一起，完成了你们这被子。所以这两个呢是都有好处，没有说哪一个好，哪一个坏。然后呢，只是来讲了不同的思维方式。So while they may both be effective and useful in different situations, typically our experience of working within an educational institution has us building puzzles from pieces that we already know. And so it helps us to draw out how things may work outside of an academic institution or a large organization. 所以这些他们反思的内容之一呢，就包括是说，如果在大学内部的话，你都知道你的资源有哪一些，你把它按部就班的按你的计划拼起来就行，就相当于他在拼图一样。但是如果你走出这个校区，你到了社会上去，社会上的资源呢很丰富，方方面面的，所以你的这个这个过程就有点像创业的过程，就有点像拼被子的过程。Okay, in my experience, um, I like this activity. I see how it engages colleagues. And、um, it always comes up with surprises. People seem to enjoy the process. 嗯，我特别喜欢这个活动啊！每次结束了以后，就是拼完这个被子的形状，都会给我们带来一些惊喜。Okay, I've mentioned reflection as well, and that's a big part of these programs. I think it's important to recognize who we are working with: our researchers, our academic colleagues, our thinkers. They want to. Be able to process their information, to apply it, to recognize the impact it can have, and to make sense of that learning, so that they can inform and、um, their next steps and their actions. And so we build into our programs, or we factor in opportunities for them to reflect and ask them to do that. And again, it's drawing from recognized. Um, approaches to learning and development, and it's important for us to share that with our colleagues. 嗯，然后我前面其实提到不止一次提到了反思这个词啊。那我们的科研人员跟我们在一起这三个月的时间呢，他们就要把他自己的这个行动如何刚开始的时候有他们一个科技成果，然后如何如何去找寻求他们找到的潜在的合作伙伴，然后去找这个合作伙伴去验证他这项技术如何能够被别人应用，整个这样的过程循环往复的。所以我们在三个月之内呢，就会提供很多样的一个机会，让按照这个圈呢，是让我们。科研人员进行反思。那我们这个反思这个圈呢，同样也是其他人的这个科研成果。这个人呢，就叫 Alan Gibb 教授，他的反思圈我们拿过来，让我们的科研人员去应用。Okay, thank you, Jing. This this model,、um, Gibb's reflective cycle model, is something that underpins a lot of our work and is very highly regarded and respected within the entre enterprise and entrepreneurship education world. 嗯，所以这个反思圈呢，我们经常会拿来用，然后我们的科研人员呢也觉得非常有效。Okay, so these are examples of how we keep things on track. And one of the areas of, um, or sorry, one of the other authors and models that we use to inform our program design is this, um, push method, which was developed 
and um, shared by Anna Kirkaterp, who is a Danish academic. And it's something that we have found provides a really positive structure to help us develop these entrepreneurial um, capacities with colleagues. Uh,我们在给我们这些,呃,科研人员增强他们的创新能力的时候,我也会经常介绍这个推送法,这推送法呢,是由丹麦的一个科学家叫安娜,安娜克克克特,然后他是2011年的时候发明的,就是,就是,
。我们这项调研呢是在二零一九年年底的时候做的，还算比较新的啊。我们从通过这调研呢，就发现了大家参与这个这个商业。科技成果转化这个商业化行动的积极性提高了，而且他们掌握了很多的技能，等他的能力方面也有提升。Okay, what the research also found was that 35% of iCure teams go on to form a spinite, and that compares to 12% who hadn't been part of the program. So institutions or teams that don't undertake additional support, um. Are three times less likely to actually set up their own business, and perhaps that process is accelerated. But in the time frame of the re,、um, iCure program from 2014 to 2019, that's what the findings have proven. 嗯，然后我们发现呢，就是经过这个项目培训的这些团队，大概有百分之三十五都后来成立了衍生公司。那有些团队呢，如果没有参加过这个项目的话，一般来讲的话，他们会成立公司的这种比例大概就是百分之十二，不是比例，应该是比例是百分之十二。那这个数字呢，是从这个项目刚开始成立以来，就从一四年开始到一九年，等于五年的时间，这个这个做的数据统计。Okay. So that also shows us, though, not not everyone that goes through this program will set up a new business, but they will go back to the university and carry out further research, or they may license a product, or they may undertake、um, some further research with industrial partners, and it's through that range of activities that the evaluation also find that teams. Are able to secure greater levels of private and public funding to help them with their next steps. 嗯，所以您看到数据，虽然有百分之三十五的公司成立衍生公司哈，那还有百分之六十多没成立呢。没成立这些公司的这些人员呢，他回到这个学校和实验室以后呢，他就会根据要看自己这个目前的科技这个。科技发现吧，可能离企业需要的这部分还有一定的差距，所以他们就跟企业一起在进一步的改进它的技术。所以就是在企业呢，或者就或者公有的，或者是私营的这企业，就给他提供了更多的资金进行他的这个成果的转化也好，或者科研的改进。Okay, the evaluation organization also carried out a cost-benefit analysis. And so their conclusion was is that whilst there may be significant amounts of public funding invested into this program, it offered value for money. And they suggested that in their calculations, that for every one pound invested, it generated three pounds, three pounds forty-three pence, in terms of added value to the economy. 啊，这项评估呢不是我们做的，是第三方做的。所以第三项第三方评估的时候，他们还还计算了这个投资回报率，就是在每一个在这项目上花的一英镑的钱，都收回了三点四三英镑。Okay, I must introduce a caveat to that. These calculations always、um, have have to be interpreted with some caution. Um, because there are other contributing factors and、um, about the timing of the information, etc. But it's a useful indicator when we look at at this figure alongside everything else that has、um, happened. 对，我我想解释一下啊，并不是说因为只是参加了我这一个项目，他们就投入一英镑能够得到三点四三英镑，那肯定还有其他的因素在里面啊，就是综合因素都考虑起来的话，是这个一比三点四三。Okay, so the evaluation is also consulted with the early career researchers and the teams who have been through the program, and they find that there was、uh, improved skills and improved capacity. And indeed, the individuals, the early career researchers themselves, felt that they had enhanced their own career prospects. Ah,、uh, 刚才讲过了，除了这个技术转化以外，本身还对这个人的发展有作用，尤其是这青年的科研人员，他在三个月之间采访了一百个人，对吧？对他能力方面有很大的提升，也扩大了他的交际圈子。然后这些人呢，他对未来的这种职业方发展的方向也更加多元化了，也更加稳定了。Okay, and I'm very pleased to say that these independent evaluators have also said that we have an effective model for learning and support, and that has indeed been rolled out. 
啊，然后另外呢，这个独立的叫评估方嘛，也非也确认了，就是我们这种学习方式和给这些人员提供的支持方式也非常有效的，然后值得称赞。So this is the latest infographic, which again is hot off the press, I'm very pleased to say, which again highlights some of the figures and information that we, we mentioned earlier. So 699 applications, of which 342 teams. 32% um, of our entrepreneurial leads, who are the early career researchers, are female. And given that the majority of iCure teams are in science um, and engineering subjects, um, it's important for us to ensure that we encourage as many women as possible to be involved in the program because typically in these sectors they're underrepresented. 嗯，那这个呢，我也非常高兴啊。这就是我们二零一九年做这个呃统计的时候一些好的数据啊。这里面我前面讲过，包括这个写了六百六百九十九个团团队来申请，然后三百四十二个团队完成了这项目，然后呢，还有百分之三十二的团队带头人都是女性，因为这都是科技成果转化，所以在英国来讲，就是科技这个领域呢，女性本来就少，所以我们呢就积极鼓励女性参加。这个百分之三十二是一个很好的一个数据了啊。Okay, at this point as well, we have 104 new companies that were set up and from those, there was over 500 jobs. Now, I think these are long-term investments and developments, but that's where we're at now. So there is impact in those, um, in those activities, in those terms. 嗯，然后呢，这些个参加培训的团队呢，成立了一百零四个公司，然后提供了五百个多个工作岗位。刚才我说过，这我们项目呢是一个长期的项目，这些数字是到目前为止的。我相信往后随着公司的成长，可能这些数字还会增加。Okay, and you can see down here that who's involved in the team, and the total number of people who have been through the iCure program, over one thousand three hundred, and those include our early career researchers. Our senior researchers, our business advisors, and over the, the past few years, our experience has shown the importance and the valuable role of the tech transfer officers or business development colleagues within universities. They can really help and support an early career researcher to navigate the world of the university as well as outside of it. So they have got a very valuable role to play there. 嗯，所以刚才讲的三百四十二个是团队，然后这一千三百一呢是人，因为一个团队里都包括四个人嘛，你就看看都包括哪些个人员。我想提出一个一类人员，就是最后这个技转人员，办公就是科技成果转化办公室的这些人员，他们的作用非常强大，包括在学校内部呢给这些年轻的科研工作者提供机会，也同时呢他们也会跟业界有非常紧密的联系，会把一些呃机会啊能够带到学校来。Okay. But I also think it's important to note, notice and to remember an, the impact on individuals. And so I thought it would be useful just to introduce you to three of the colleagues that I have worked with. 然后我想呢，也会，嗯，对个人来讲，他们这个呃影响也很大啊。那现在这三个呢，是我觉得比较成功的案例，拿出来跟大家讲一讲吧。Okay, all of these three colleagues are. Where early career researchers, researchers, um, we have Chris from the University of Warwick, who is now the chief technical officer of Interface Polymer, and it's built on his research, um, which is about bonding plastics and having a real impact on the reuse and recycling of plastics, and that business continues to grow and continues to have investment. 嗯，第一个呢，就是 Chris， 他是华为大学的，他现在呢，他们都是博士生啊，他年轻博士生。然后这个 Chris 毕业以后呢，就在一个公司呢，就在这 Interface Polymer 这个公司，就是一个界面融合的这样一个公司呢，做 CTO。然后它里面呢，主要讲的是这个塑料的循环使用。Okay, this is Ashmita, and I've recently met Ashmita as part of the Success Program, as which is part of the Aspect Network. So it's very much a social sciences development. She's at the University of Oxford and um, her PhD is in education. But she has developed a program well, and is working with all others that provide support to young women who are not in employment or training or education and is training and supporting them 
to develop their coding and their digital skills. 然后第二位这个姑娘呢，她是啊啊牛津大学的，她叫 Ashmita， 她呢就是参加了刚才讲一个社会科学的科技成果转化那个项目。她在牛津大学呢是学的是教育学，她做的这个项目主要是帮助那些女性啃老族的女性自自食其力，然后帮助他们如何去进行编程啊，增强他们的这种数字使用技术能力。Okay, and then finally, this is Ashley from the University of Newcastle. When I first met Ashley, she was, um, let's say, unconvinced of the opportunity for her work. She is now the chief scientific um, officer for AMLO Bio Bioscience and supports others in the University of Newcastle to develop and explore their ideas too. But she's developed an in. Um, tests for um, the prognosis of skin cancer. So you can see the breadth of these technologies um, and how they can be applied, both um, for social reasons, in technology reasons that are having an impact on health, on society, and indeed on our environment. 呃、uh, ，最后一位那个女士呢，她叫 Ashley， 她是在纽卡斯尔大学。她第一次跟 Lisa 说跟她相见的时候，她感觉她并没有对她的科技成果转化有很强的信心。后来参加这个项目以后呢，她找到了一条这个转化之路吧。她现在呢是这个公司的，呃，她叫主。就是首席科学官，他这这个公司做什么呢？就发明了一种试剂来检验这个皮肤癌的。他这个试剂叫检验这个初期的黑色素瘤的使用情况。所以现在这个公司呢已经做得很好了。大家您看到我讲的这个三个案例啊，有的呢是跟这个科技相关的，有的是跟教育相关的，有的是跟医疗相关的。所以这个项目呢，它针对的这些人员是方方面面的。Okay. And these are our role models, and they come to us, and they will share their their views and their experiences, and talk to others who are thinking about exploring commercial. Ah, these, ah, these are our role models. Then, they are our role models. 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 So what next? What advice would I give to those that are thinking about doing this? This is the question to finish up. And I, I would like you for I'd like to thank you, Jing, for asking me this question because it prompted me to reflect on the learning that I've had over the past five years of having had the opportunity to work with colleagues like Chris and Ashmita and uh, Ashley. So. 最后一个问题呢，咱们就讲一下，就是，呃，那那如果想给那些中国的这些科研人员想做科技成果转化的提一些建议，他说他非常高兴，我给他出了这个命题作文啊，他说他也让他呢好好的回顾了一下，就过去这五年以来做这个项目的一些收获，帮助包括找到刚才那三个模范和典范吧。那下一步他们该怎么办呢？什么建议呢？大家看下面。Okay, so my recommendations would be to reflect on yourself. This is very much a, a personal journey for an individual, individual. So think about what is important to you and think about what your aspirations are for um, your career and for what you want to achieve. 首先，第一项呢，就是反思一下自己，看一下自己的情况啊。就是目前呢，你有哪些个成就？有你有什么？然后另外呢，你对的人生方向啊，你想达到什么？呃、先自己先给自己规划一下。Okay, I would encourage you to think about what it is you do and how you see it being applied in terms of the entrecomp and the business model canvas language, which is all very much about creating values for other. Others, less about the technology because you know your technology is good. You know that is sound. Think about the benefits and the value that you can create or could create. 然后第二个呢，就是想一下刚才咱们那两个模型，一个是那个墙上挂的这个 Entrecom， 就是呃。欧盟的创新能力框架，另外呢是那个商业模式化布。我知道呢，我们大家呢都有自己的点子，你都有你的科技成果。你要把呢，你不用想这些技术了，你现在把它重点想想，你这技术能够给谁使用，能够怎么给别人带来价值。And I'd encourage you to draw on the resources available to you. Recognize that you have them. 
there are people and projects that you are working with or that inspire you and contact them and tap into their expertise as well. So it's encouraging you to build your networks and to build a team. So whilst you may have a particular vision, you don't necessarily need all of the skills to be able to put that into practice. But what you do need is a team of people who collectively you can work together and you can achieve that. 呃，第二项内容呢，我就是希望大家想想自己有哪些可利用的资源哈，包括你周围的这些人呢，还有一些类似他讲的那些国家项目的支持啊。然后我知道呢，你自己的资源呢非常丰富，呃，但是呢，你很多事情不是你一个人能干得了的，所以审视一下你周围有什么圈子，然后把一些那个能够说得来的、志同道合的人组织起来，组建一个团队。Okay. And I'd suggest give it a go. I would learn through experience, and let's try this. Ah, 然后第三个就是动起来，行动起来呀。然后我们能够从经验中学习，从反思中学习。And building on that, or related to that, isn't a single correct way of doing it. There's no single blueprint for us to follow. It needs to be fit for purpose for your. Environment, your experience, and your own aspirations, and it needs to be fit for you. Give it a go. Learn through the experience. If it's not for you, you've done it and you've tried it. If it is for you, you can learn how to do it better. 嗯，然后另外他想指明的就是说，其实通往成功的一条路呢，没有一个像非常清晰的路径，谁也不知道这条路是什么。所以你要审视一下你的周围的环境，你的一些资源，你能够做什么，就与你的目标相关的，人与你的价值观相关的，就符合的，你就先做起来吧。做成功了是好事，如果做不成功呢，那其实这条路是你学习的这个过程，对你也是有好处的。Okay, well, that brings me to an end. I hope that's been of interest to you, and I would like to thank you again for the opportunity. Thank you very much, Lisa, and I, I really I learned a lot from you. Oh, well, I'm glad to hear that, but I've learned a lot from you and your experience too, so thank you. Yeah, thank you. And uh, this um, presentation is going to be played on the afternoon of the of the sixth of July, out of June. And if there's any further questions, I'm going to summarize the questions and go back to you. Hope that you will find some time to answer those questions. Certainly, I'd be very happy to. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much again, and for making time available to share experience. I am very grateful for that. Thank you. <laughs>